Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Who Ate All The Cookies. Thank you very much for tuning in and today we've got a very exciting guest, Tuka Suleiman. Tuka is an investor in many different companies, including ourselves at Personify XP. He's a re- fashion retail entrepreneur and also a dragon in Dragon's Den. Welcome Tuka, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So let's get started. Oh, my stories. Uh, well, my story is, is a long story. Um, I'm 68 years of age. I've been in business for 48, 49 years. So I, st- I really started as a junior accountant um, and decided that I wasn't going to do my exams and that I wanted to go and be entrepreneurial. In the meantime, um, I, I sort of dabbled in the garment business through my grandmother. I, I, I was doing an audit at some company, you know, bought some clothes and gave them to my grandmother and she went out and sold to her friends. Um, from there, it led me to enter the fashion business. Um, so I, I had a very successful start in the fashion business at a very early age, very successful. Um, and in those days, you know, it was the CNA it was the ETAMs, there was no Zara, uh, I think Topshop was just about around. Um, and then I started manufacturing in the UK. Um, and then finally, at a very young age, in my mid to late twenties then, I became chairman of two public companies. I was probably the youngest chairman of two public companies ever. However, um, when I went to buy a big stake in a second company, which I did. I did it without proper due diligence. Uh, the net assets showed that it was worth 20 million. Um, I bought in, in those days, Coopers and Lycron, who are now PwC, to do, to do a review. And we found out that the company was 20 million in the rate and it was overstated. And thereafter, uh, it was a long story, um, I resigned from that company and it was, it was a domino card, so it, it actually, that went down, the other public company went down, and my private companies who are doing business with these companies all went down. So I found myself in the late 20s, it was sort of wiped out. Luckily, you know, I linked up with my family, and we started low profile, um, basically producing uh, garments for the likes of BHS, m and uh, which was very, again, very successful. Um, and during the 80s and late 80s, 90s, I decided to venture into commercial property, which I started buying around Pittsrovia, which I still own and, very, and I've got a lot in value. Um, and after that, I decided that, that you know, enough of supplying the rest of the high street, we wanted to own our own brands. So um, I, I inquired which shirt business I could buy. And I, and I came across Horse and Curtis, yeah. who were about 700,000 in debt. Uh, and I bought it for a pound. And then I then went to the creditors and did a deal with them. So I ended up with a nice clean company with a brand with one shop. And then I grew that business, uh, which is now turning over in excess of 30 million. Um, then came Ghost uh, and Ghost um, was in receivership. I bought that, and that's now been, it, it become an iconic brand. It was an iconic brand, an English brand. Um, and then in between time came an opportunity to go on Dragons. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know how. Um, at the time, um, I thought, what do I want to be in Dragons Den for? But uh, I went for the screen test. Yeah. And I was told that uh, I was shortlisted. And then a few months later, I got a call saying, would I go to Manchester to see the producer? And, and, and there, there, there he said, I want you on my show. Uh, that was a moment in my life where I didn't know what I was putting myself in for, but it, was, yeah. it seemed exciting. Um, so became a dragon. I've now been a dragon on Dragon's Day for eight years. 
um, what that's helped me expand my horizon outside of the garment business, fashion business, into baby technology, uh, toys, um, all sorts of 20 odd businesses. Um, and that, that's really opened my eyes. Um, so uh, I probably now not only invest in Dragon's Den, but I also invest outside the den. Uh, Personify is one of those investments that I did outside the den. Um, I'm still going strong. I'm about to start filming the next series of Dragon's Den in early May this year. Uh, and who knows what investments I'll make. Exciting, very exciting. Like you said earlier, it'd be a, a good book one day, hopefully. Yes. At the time, um, I wasn't looking for any personal session. When I met uh, Ben and Josh, I was very impressed by the pair of them. And they were my first reaction to say, I want to invest in these guys. Then came the personalization. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, personalization is very important today. Um, you know, as the online business becomes more competitive, um, technology is playing a big part in acquiring that customer, retaining that customer, and that's what Personify does, it grows your sales. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good, uh, good line to keep to crop out for us there. Um... I, think, I think the retail sector it's gone through a perfect storm. What with COVID, uh, where stores were forced to close, open and close, uh, where the consumer was not brave enough to go out and shop. Um, luckily for some of us, we've got online businesses that's, that's helped. But I think, I think the, uh, the retail has gone through a very difficult position. Yes, the government has helped, um, and that's coming to an end now. Um, the biggest stumbling block for retailers today is rates. It's an old-fashioned tax, uh, and I think we're going to see more casualties, predominantly to do with rates. Um, I think landlords are now much more, much more uh, ready to listen to retailers. A lot of landlords are now willing to let you go on turnover rent which is a rent that you pay against, against what you turn over rather than a fixed rent. Okay. Um, so I think there's more difficult times for retailers. However, <clears throat> if you've got the right product, at the right quality, at the right value, you've got nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, look, I, I, as I said, I, I love the fact that there's always new businesses. I love the fact I can help entrepreneurs make their dreams come true. And, and, and in a way, um, I, I love the fact that people out there know that I'm an investor in small businesses and I'll look at anything if it makes sense. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for coming on. It's been a pleasure, pleasure having you on. Who ate all the cookies? And hopefully we'll have you again. Well done. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much.